sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm going down to the house for sausage. Welcome to the BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're going to do some steelhead on the grill, and it's real easy to do. All right, here I've got some uh, steelhead rainbow trout fillets, and uh, it's very similar looking to salmon because these uh, steelhead are sea-run rainbow trout. And unlike the uh, landlocked version of rainbows, uh, the meat is very reddish-orange, and... Um, it's got a real good flavor. All right, now the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to make up a marinating and a basting sauce. And uh, you want to get yourself some uh, maple syrup. And we're going to pour about a half a cup here in a bowl. And to that, we're going to add about a half a cup of soy sauce. So it's a one to one ratio. Now this sweet and salty marinade is just perfect for this fish. And it works real well when doing up salmon too. All right, we'll give this a mix. And then we're gonna grab a marinating bowl here and we're gonna let it sit in this uh, marinade here for, oh, maybe 10, 15 minutes while you're waiting for your grill to get good and hot. And we'll set aside about four or five ounces of it because we're gonna use it for basting. Man, there's nothing like steelhead on the grill. You definitely gotta check this out the first chance you get. This is some good eating fish. Now for the uh, basting sauce and you can also use it as a fish sauce when you're serving up your steelhead. We're going to take this remaining marinade and we're going to heat it up on the grill. Now we've got this grill set up for indirect heating. We've got the charcoal on one side and uh, we're going to take this sauce here and we're going to uh, we're going to simmer it a bit. We want to reduce the stock and thicken it up. And here I've got some uh, horseradish. We're gonna put about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons here into this uh, sauce, and then give it a good mix. All right, it's been simmering for a bit. It's thickening up real nice. We're going to take it off the grill because it's time to put these fillets on. Man, take a look at that. It looks good enough to eat already, if you know what I mean. All right. Now we're just going to prep the grill a little bit. We're going to take some oil here and uh, we're going to oil up the grill real good. And this will help keep the fish from sticking on the grate. Now we're going to put these fillets opposite the hot coals. And you're going to see a lot of recipes out there that uh, tell you to put it directly over some hot coals. Nah, you don't want to do that. You put them indirect like this. This way uh, you'll cook the meat just perfect and tender and moist. And then one last thing you want to do here is uh, put on some fresh ground black peppercorn. Just a little bit. And we'll put the cover on. And this is going to take about maybe eight, ten minutes. Depends how hot your coals are. All right, we're about halfway through this, and we're going to take a look. She's coming along real good. And this is where we're going to baste on a little bit of this uh, basting sauce. Man, 
Can you smell that? It smells good. All right, maybe another five minutes to go. Now let's see if these steelhead fillets are done. Best way to do that is just take a knife or a fork and see if it starts to flake, just like that. It's pulling away from the skin, it's still nice and moist, you don't want to overcook it. It's time to pull these off the grill. You getting hungry or what? Look at that skin pull away. It's exactly the way you want to cook your steelhead trout. In fact, uh, we're going to have to sample all of this right in front of you, and we do apologize. Mm. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your barbecue, you check out the barbecuepitboards.com.